Have you ever wondered just how close you were to first in damage or how many people were leeching your 03 runs? Well, wonder no more, because now there's a tool you can check that out. Thanks to friends on Reddit and GitHub, we now have a tool that looks at yours and other players' damage during boss fights in Realm. I want to cover how it works, how a deck in the community might react, and how you can get it for yourself if you're interested. Hey friends, I'm Rose Beef, and today's video is on a new tool I just heard about and I want to show you all. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy. Before we get started though, this is not an official DECA tool or Realm Manga tool, so use at your own risk. This DPS calculator is called Realm Shark, and it's pretty simple. You download it, start it before you walk into a dungeon, and at the end, it outputs your damage on the boss, like this. The way it does this is by reading network traffic from Realm and adding up the numbers. It doesn't add anything extra to the game, and this data has always been available, it's just hard to read. Now, because I can't recommend what might be malware to you all without first exposing myself, I downloaded it to give it a try. I found that it was easy to use and had some really cool features. Once you have all the relevant software downloaded, you can launch this tomato.jar file and it does three things. It captures chat, captures key pops, and it captures damage on all entities in the dungeon. This does include non-boss mobs, like all this stuff down here, but the boss is always auto-sorted to the top. This tool isn't good for live tracking DPS or anything like that because it only prints out the data once the dungeon is done, but it is still an invaluable tool nonetheless. Let's talk about how DECA and the community might react. So the only words we have from DECA so far is the following hopefully real screenshot. Someone named Mia asks support and they reply it as follows. I wouldn't say, I'm sorry. I would say it isn't against the terms of service as long as it doesn't give any unfair advantage over other players and it doesn't affect the game files in any way. However, we do not condone the usage of anything that hasn't been officially released from the Mad God as we don't consider it a legitimate way to play the game. So TLDR, NECA says that it's not against terms that it's not endorsed, but also that it's not against TOS. So it's fine, but use at your own risk. So how the community reacts could be something else entirely. For me personally, it's awesome to see my exact damage so I can try and play riskier to push my limits and see if I'm improving or potentially test new gear now that we can measure our exact damage. On the flip side, myself and quite a few others are concerned about what this might do to endgame meta. Uh, like this post right here. We're worried endgame discords that already have wrecks are going to start doing things like please screenshot and send at least 503 runs of you doing at least X damage uh, in order to join the run. Um, which could make the sometimes problematic Discord situation even worse. I am still excited for this tool though. I hope it leads to something official from DECA that does the same thing, but safely and with nice in-game UI, like this Reddit post here, where it has most damage dealt, exact damages, best healer, most damage tanked, and any notable deaths. I think this looks awesome and I would love if DECA implemented something like this in-game. So you don't have to download external tools for the same deal. Now for the part you've all been waiting for. If you see this Reddit post and you're like, I want to download this, I have to say, first of all, download at your own risk. This program reads your network traffic, and while I took that risk so I can give you all content, I do not know if this is malware. So again, download it at your own risk. If you still want to download this, I've got links to this post and the uh, other things all in the description, but here's what you do. You'll download this uh, GitHub, you'll go to GitHub and you'll download this tomato.jar file. Once you do, uh, you can run this and it will prompt you to go to NPCAP, which is the other program you need. But when you try to start sniffing and it says, wait, you need this other program first, you go down here, you'll download this installer. You'll execute both, you'll execute this and then you'll execute the tomato.jar file and that will pop up this little guy right here. If you're ready to do it in a dungeon, you'll pull up your realm. Um, and you will go to file, start sniffer, and then you go run around and play realm in our dungeon. When you finish the dungeon, uh, you can look in here and under DPS logger, it will say for whatever dungeons you did, it'll have different pages for each one. Um, the main boss, your exact damage, your percentage, and your gear. And that will list you and everyone else who was in there in order of damage and percentage. And it also lists other players' gear, so you can see for RLs if you really want, you could be like, ah, oh, well, he didn't have da 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 bow or da 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 gear, so meh 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 meh, which is, again, potentially a bad thing. But it gives all this information, it even has it for all the random mobs, which is really cool. So 
yeah if there are entities so you see this data looks incomplete and i remember reading about that on the page for the tool this is because i was not in range or the other player who did damage to this native greater ice sprite was out of range of me or my screen or i don't know exactly how it reads that but basically it was too far away for me to read the information so yeah this is all a lot of cool stuff i hope you guys enjoy it also shows key pops so this is like this feels like a really good tool for rls you can see exactly who popped the key when everything right chat in case you need to report anything like this is this seems just like a really good tool honestly but yeah if you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe so i keep making cool videos for you guys i hope you all come by my next video but until then keep it beefy boys hello there